Hey you guys, it's me Rachel and today I'm back with another video for you guys. So, oh, that's my website. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna sit down on my desk. I got a new desk because she is a new business owner. So yeah, I started a boutique. This is my clothing rack with some of my things on it. I just like open them all up and hang them up here if they come with hangers. Um, if you keep hearing that noise, it's my website. That means someone's on it. I love to use this natural lighting, but I gotta sit on my desk because we're business ladies. I have my iPad. First step to starting a business is definitely getting an iPad. <laughs> Not really, but I swear, ever since I've had this iPad, like, moves have been made. I have my little pen. Definitely recommend, like, actually definitely recommend, but it's not a requirement, of course. I also have a laptop, so you can make moves on the laptop. Um, okay, let me start from the top. So, hey, you guys, if you're not here for my channel, you're, like, not a subscriber, my name is Rachel. Where do I start? I've been on YouTube since high school, so I've been doing this for a really long time. It's currently my full-time job, and it's been really, really fun. But I feel like I'm at a point where, I don't know, I wanted to start something new. I wanted another stream of income and I wanted to do something that I've been wanting to do forever. So besides YouTube, the only other jobs that I've had are retail. And for some reason, you guys, ever since I was a kid even, like I just love everything that goes into like working a clothing store, which I know might sound weird, but like I love even the small things like using the cash register. I used to love, you know, getting the bags and putting, you know, the customer's clothes in the bags. Like, I don't know. I just love everything about it. So I've always wanted to start my own clothing store. And if you've been subscribed for a while, you guys would know. I kind of started one um, back in college with one of my good friends and that was called Pretty Precise. She's still doing Pretty Precise, but we're just doing separate things. So Pretty Precise still lives and then 814 was birthed. So yeah, that's just a little bit about me. If you guys don't follow me, you guys definitely should because I want to create more of like a personal relationship with you guys. If you guys want to be my friend or whatever, definitely follow me on Instagram. But yeah, so recently I haven't announced it on my YouTube channel because I kind of want to do it in like a question and answer, sit down kind of format. I'm ready today y'all. I'm going to edit this and upload it all in the same day. And I also wanted to start like documenting my business journey from like the beginning so you guys can see and like, I don't know. I just think it would be nice to document it and you know, see how it grows and like be able to tell you guys tips and tricks as I learn like along the way. So today we're going to be talking about how I started my business in the first place. My business is called Shop 814. All of my inspirations aesthetically are like Lily's Closet. I love the boutique. I love Shop the boutique. Those are like two of my biggest that I just love. Shop 814, you guys should definitely follow. I'm going to be giving you guys all the tea on how I started it. And since I just started it, I also want to take you guys on the journey with me. So any information that I have that can help someone else, I'd love to give it. These are some of the items that I sell on at my clothing store. You guys should definitely check it out. Of course, I'll leave a link down below for you guys. And I'll also give you guys your very own code so I can know if you came from this video. And it's the highest discount I've done so far. So love you guys. I guess it could be YouTube for 35% off. So if you guys want to shop, these are some of the pieces. And I'm going to show you guys my packaging, let you guys know how I got it, vendors, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so now that I've introduced Shop 814, I'm gonna get into what you guys are here for, how I started. So the first thing that I did whenever I knew I wanted to take this seriously was I came up with a name. So you're gonna wanna come up with a name that, I don't know, some things to me, like when I would just try to mesh random words together that just didn't really matter to me. For me personally, it just makes it kind of cringy for me to like even say like, oh, go shop whatever like I don't know maybe I'm a sentimental person but like it just has to mean something to me because then I won't like have any shame in it I know it sounds kind of weird but that's just me so my sister recommended why don't I name it after my birthday so that's what I did shop 814 and I like it so it has meaning um, I think it's really cute short simple straight to the point but you're gonna want to come up with a name that you see yourself using long term I don't want to have to rebrand and like change my name later on you're gonna want to have a business plan I didn't really make like a intricate long business plan I did like me and my mom we went over like our purpose like you know who 
who we're targeting and all that kind of stuff if i were giving you guys advice i would say to do that but i'm not gonna sit here and act like i had a 12 page business plan because i didn't i just knew what i wanted so once i had my name i already knew the colors that i liked i like nude neutral everything so i went on instagram and you can get on a lot of different websites to find logo makers but i got on instagram and i got on fiverr and you can also get on etsy but i'll start with instagram so for instagram i just searched in the bar like the hashtag bar hashtag logo maker hashtag logo design from there i found my logo designer and i love her she makes you like a whole kind of mood board well i sent her my mood board and then she sent me back logo options as well as like my exact color so like my website can be my exact color like coding and everything she's amazing so i definitely recommend her i'll leave her instagram here as well as link down below but you can also check out fiverr.com it's like a website where you can just hire people to do a slew of things you can hire people to edit videos for you you can hire people to edit photos for you you can hire people to do your website for you you can hire people to make you a logo so definitely check out fiverr another good option is making yours on canva yourself i would just go to canva and they have different templates and you can just pick a logo so then i just went ahead and registered my business that was pretty easy most of it you can do online i'll leave a link down below for georgia for registering registering your business because it has all the details in it but I registered my business and then I could move on to the fun part. The next thing that I did was I took my logo and I got packaging made and I started to make things that I wanted to put in my packaging, like cards and stuff, which I'll show you guys. If y'all watch me, y'all know I love packaging. So of course I had to have super cute packaging. So this is mine. It's just like this nude kind of pink poly mailer with gold writing of my logo i do love these but i do feel like they wrinkle really easily so i don't know if that's a quality issue i just went with the first you know you have to try out different vendors so i went with this one but maybe next time i'll just try somebody different just for fun i feel like every time i run out i'll probably just switch the design up anyway same logo of course but like just switch up the design and the color so for my packaging i got on alibaba which if you know what aliexpress is alibaba is basically like a huge directory for like manufacturers so i just searched Poly mailers, custom. I can make a more in-depth video showing you guys how I order things from Alibaba, but basically, you're gonna get on there, find whatever design you think you like so far. But honestly, if you find a manufacturer, they're the people that make it. So the options are endless. It's honestly just a matter of finding a good, reliable one. Like I said, if you don't want to do Alibaba, there's so many other options. Just Google poly mailers and you'll get it. It might be a little bit pricier to get them done by like through like a third party, whereas Alibaba, I'm going straight to the source. So, I downloaded WhatsApp and you can like talk to them. You go on their profile on Alibaba and most of them usually have their like WhatsApp phone number. So I just go through and message them and I ask to see some pictures of their work. My factory sent me amazing pictures, high quality videos, suggested things, like they're amazing. I'll leave their profile link down below as well. So I placed my order for my packaging and that was super exciting. That does take a little bit of time, so that's why I went ahead and did that really early. And then after that, I knew I wanted like a card to put in the box that says thank you. And then I knew I wanted stickers for like, my packaging is like when you order something, I'll do a pack with me in one of these vlogs one day. When you order, I use like the paper and then I fold the clothes super cute and I put it in and I fold it and I put a sticker on it hold that note I've already gone through two pages of stickers these are my stickers they just have 814 in Roman numerals I designed these on Canva all by myself and then I also got my thank you cards from Canva as you guys can see this is the front this is my logo I just found this marble like background and put it on there I could have got a higher quality paper I should have this feels about like a photo you know like photos you go get printed and then the back just says thank you and i was able to type that out so i just used both of my logo fonts they're on canva and then i left a little message and i wanted to get like a white pen or like silver or something to write something else on there but i didn't get a chance to do that and then i wanted to make my own hang tags so i designed some on canva and i did use a thicker paper this time and it's like right on point you can choose your own custom dimensions on Canva, which I love. So I just looked up like the dimensions of a hang tag. And this is what I created. It's just like my my white color that my logo designer, the code she gave me, and then my logo. After that, I went ahead and registered on websites for vendors. So this is the fun part when you get to like look at clothes and add things to your card and favorite things. And then minutes turn to hours and hours turn to days and days turn to weeks in your iPad. 
I registered on Fashion Go in LA showroom. I'm gonna ask you for your business license, a picture of it, just a picture of it and like your name, the name of the business, address, that kind of stuff. If you guys want more in depth about the vendors that I like and like how I shop through the vendors and stuff, let me know. Short answer, I don't use AliExpress for clothes. And then the other thing with shopping wholesale that I'm kind of iffy about is I don't like the idea of like taking someone's design without knowing like you never know, like, is this a small business design where they get this this design, these original, like, you just never know. But I think that's why it's important to research all your vendors and have your favorites. So I definitely already have some favorites. Maybe I can put together a list for you guys one day, but I definitely already have my favorite, like, vendors that I trust. I will say, red flags to stay away from are any vendors that use anyone else's photo. I automatically stay away from that because you already know it's not going to be like the photo. One of the other most important things is the website. So for me, I use Wix. Uh, I know that a lot of people like Shopify. I like Wix personally because I already knew how to use it because I sell, resell my wigs on there for you guys. So since I already knew how to use Wix, I just went ahead and went with that. I did not even know this was a thing until I did it, but I went on Etsy and tried to find like pre-made websites and they actually make them, you guys. Basically, someone goes in and designs a whole website and then they sell it to you and you have like a whole template to work from. Basically, whenever I got on, there's a template for me, but I completely went in and like redid it. But it helped me to have something to work with, so it just wasn't as hard. So I definitely recommend that. But during this time, I'm working, I'm looking for clothes, spending hours, you guys, hours on this iPad. That's why I recommend. I love it and people, they're getting mad at me because I'm always on my iPad with my little pen. So as this was happening, Packages were coming in. It really only took no more than a week for anything to come in. So I was at a point where I had all my things and I scheduled a photo shoot. My photo shoot was August the 7th, which was a week before my launch date. And I'll leave the photographer that I used down below. These are how my pictures came out. I love them. I booked a place on Pure Space. You guys should definitely check them out. They stick around space for anything like parties or whatever, but I rent them out for photo shoots for certain things. And the place that I used, I'll leave a link down below, but you can also use it, I mean, book through their website. But you guys should definitely check out Pure Space because there's some really creative like spaces for you to go and create content in for your business. I booked it for two hours. The photographer only took one hour and then I had like some time left to take my own pictures, which I only took one because you guys, changing clothes, being your own model is definitely underestimated. Like, it's actually really hard. You're breathing hard, you're going back and forth changing clothes. I had nine items, and I have a launch coming up of all, like, loungewear and sets and stuff, and I got 11 items, so pray for me, but I think I'm going to have hire a model for that one, if it's in the budget, because we're blowing the budget already, baby. Yeah, so, photo shoot, my pictures came back that Wednesday. I spent those last Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I spent those last three days editing my website and adding like the pictures, putting names to the pictures, and it came to life. Yeah, that is how I started my business, Shop 814, and now I'm gonna get into you guys' questions. So the first question says, what was the inspiration behind it? So the inspiration behind Shop 814 is me. It's like what I like, what I like to wear, um, <laughs> I feel like that's such a Leo thing to say, but I think that's the cool thing about owning your own business is it can be whatever you want it to be. Okay, y'all, as I'm reading the questions, I really answered a lot of the questions in the video, so good job for me. Someone asked, when did the idea first come to mind? It came to mind years ago. Like I said, whenever I first started working, like, the first job I got was in retail just because, I don't know, I just loved retail. My favorite part about starting your business, I think my favorite part is that I get to, you know, like, pick everything, like, it's me. You get to express your creativity. It's just, honestly, it's a lot of fun. And it doesn't really seem like work because I just love it. And my least favorite part. I think my least favorite part will have to be like all the logistics, like when it comes to like legalities and like things like that. What was the most expensive thing about getting your business started? And my boyfriend asked this because he probably wants a little shout out. So my boyfriend and my mom and my grandmother and my auntie Sharon and my sister, hopefully I remember everyone, got me like a setup. So I have a desk big white desk I have my beautiful gray spinny chair I have this beautiful I'm not gonna pick it up but it's like a gold scale because you have to weigh your stuff before you ship it off and then they got me a Rolo thermal printer which is bomb I love it so 
Those are all the most expensive things that like go into getting my business started. Thank you guys, love you. Any future plans for the brand, things you wanna add? So my most current future plan is my loungewear and like set drop that I'm about to do. I ordered like 11 different styles, you guys. So we have a bunch of neutrals because you guys know I love a neutral outfit and monochromatic looks. So that will be in the next two weeks. So make sure you guys subscribe. They're gonna be a little bit more affordable than what I have now. Did you find a vendor from Alibaba? No, only for my packaging. I'm not doing any clothes from Alibaba. How long did it take you to get everything completed before launch day? I've been working on this since June. Uh, like literally like got my business license, started ordering clothes, working on it. Not like planning and thinking about it since only June, but actually physically doing things June. So about three months, two and a half. Do you Shopify for your website? No, I use Wix. Who was your greatest supporter? My mom's asking that. Of course, my mommy. How many samples did you buy in each size? So on Fashion Con LA Show, remember you guys will see they sell everything in packs. So there'll probably usually be a pack of two small, two medium, two large. I started small with everything because you just never know. And I also started at an awkward point. <laughs> um, it was the end of the summertime or is the end of the summertime. So I didn't want to have too much summer like inventory. Yeah, fall. Maybe we coming for the fall and these sets are going to be perfect for the fall. So you guys have to subscribe to my email. I don't want you guys to miss out. Yeah, those are basically all the questions that I didn't like already cover. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys don't mind me making these kind of videos. Let me know what you guys think and if you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to shop 814, you guys. Use your code down below. It's only for you and subscribe to my email list and subscribe to my channel and yeah give this video a huge thumbs up leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe like i said and i'll see you guys in my next one bye